I'm going to show you what happens if you export your model if uh, you unmerge it. And uh, one advantage of this is if you had more time, you could uh, create your levels right in Unreal Engine using the assets that you imported from uh, Asset Forge. Now, I'm just going to add an obvious statement. You could put everything in one piece, or you could even just drag a couple pieces to the side. You're like, okay, maybe I'm going to use this piece, or maybe I want a stair. So I'm going to go get maybe a block, but you can get blocks easily in, uh, in uh, Unreal Engine. I'm going over here and I'm looking for the castle and I want to get the stairs. And maybe I'll need those stairs. There's stairs in Unreal Engine, but maybe you prefer these because they're a little nicer. So there you go. I'm going to add this one too. And I'm going to add this one here. All right. So I'll say that's my model. I'll say I'm done. So 3D model. I'm going to go OBJ, don't merge. I'm going to click export. Make sure you look at where you're saving it to. Save file. I should probably save my project file too, so I'll go up block two and click OK. And now um, I'm going to check something here. It's going to the desktop, I think. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go to Unreal Engine and I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it Unblocked or Blocks. So in other words, here's some blocks you're going to be able to work with. And I'm going to open the folder. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to import the blocks. So here it is. And when you import, this is really important. You're going to go 90 degrees. And it depends on the size. But for now, I'll say 150. Maybe it's not big enough. But you can uh, just re-import them. And I'm going to go import all. And so it's going to bring in the materials and the blocks from what I just created. So they're not going to be in one piece though. So you have to build them in here. So maybe that's something that you would want to do. I'll wait a second for the properties to load. So it takes a minute or two. So I'm going to zoom out here so you can see. Um, so I'm going to just actually start bringing things in. So I'm going to drag this and drop it in. So there's the wall. From that asset. And I'm going to just zoom out here a little bit. Oops. In the wrong way, it might be helpful if I. So there's the wall that you can see that I just dropped in from my. Uh, so you can start building it up if you wanted to. Press F, zoom it in, press W. So you can move it around, and so here it is. And I'm going to just move this over. And in other words, you got blocks that you could work with. So same thing with the stairs. You want to bring them in. So there they are. What's good about this that's different than when you work in Asset Forge is, if you change and you want to change the size, you can make it taller here or um, longer. So that's the advantage of blocking out your castle. So if you, uh, you know you want to do any work custom work inside unblocking it is the way to do it so um, one thing you may want to do is bring in your old castle and if you see the stairs don't work just import just the stairs and tweak them this way so that you have it working the way you would like you could also alternatively use the stairs that are in here so that's a tip and another really cool possibility is that you go file you're going to create a new level and what we're going to do is we're going to use this level as usual. I'll say that selected. And now I didn't bring in any blocks, but if I had brought in the blocks, I could block out a level using assets from Af Asset Forge because I find it's a little bit quicker than, but you could obviously use the cubes here and so on. So maybe uh, just expanding this here to make a floor. So we're going to go scale. I'll go uh, 30 by. 30 by 30. I don't want that one. I want this to stay one actually. And I'm going to zoom out here. Actually, probably this needs to be zero too. Or one might be better. And here we're going to go 30 